morning, everyone. My name is Nelson Rainey. I'm an undergrad student here at UTC, and I am a senior mechanical engineer who is currently working under Dr. Ranjan to help him with some of his projects. The current project that I'm working on is computational modeling of turbulent flow around a prolate spheroid. Basically, the idea of this is to model uh, like a submarine traveling through water. And this has specific implications towards uh, looking at the wake generated. So that way the sonar um, will have a more difficult time detecting it. Um, it's difficult to model and understand what's happening in the wake and the turbulence created by the spheroid. Um, by hand. So we use multiple different programs to help us model this and visualize it to give us a better understanding. Um, the first thing we need to do is create a mesh um, for the environment and the spheroid. Uh, the initial boundary layer uh, we calculate based off of a Reynolds number of 4.2 million and the initial environment and points for the environment, uh, we are following an already existing article that details um, what their mesh used. And we're doing this so that way we can confirm that our setup is accurate and giving us correct results before we go on to um, analyzing it more in depth or changing certain stuff about the setup. Once we have the Point-wise correct, we then transfer it over to OpenFoam, where we um, set up the initial boundaries. So like the inflow, the outflow, um, the initial velocity. Um, we set up like the outer boundaries, walls, um, basically just feeding in a bunch of different settings so that the way the solver knows exactly what to do. So after running that for a little bit, we got enough results to where we can move that over to a program called um, TechPlot, which is a visualization tool. And as you can see, the streamlines of it create this very nice um, kind of breaking wake around the spheroid that you can see there under results. And then um, for the top right on um, the poster, you can see how the velocity changes. So like the orange color is about 5.95 meters per second. And then that dark red color, it actually speeds up around the spheroid. And then at the very head and tail of it, it slows down uh, obviously because it has to slow down and go around the spheroid. Uh, the current situation is, is um, we're running into difficulty with the mesh somewhere. Um, every time we try to solve it, it ends up diverging. So uh, while we're able, while we're able to get some results, we can only solve for half a second. And the goal is to be able to solve for about 45 seconds worth of simulation time. Um, so the next step for the project is figuring out why the solver keeps diverging and how we can fix that. And then once we have that figured out, we will be able to match our results up with the already existing um, article on it. And then we can uh, further analyze uh, the sh overall shape of the spheroid and analyze maybe a different angle of attack or add in gravity, which right now it's um, considered it's in a, doesn't have gravity affecting it. Um, I would like to say thank you to Dr. Ranjan and Eli Durant both of which have helped very much so. Uh, Dr. Ranjan has spent a lot of time training me on all of the programs and just training me on how to, how to go about solving such a problem.